So today I'm talking about a Ford with the P1130 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P1130 code? Well, depending on the scan tool, you could get different definitions. Most commonly, you'll get the definition of a lack of upstream heated oxygen sensor switch adaptive fuel limit bank one, but you can't get these other definitions. But basically what this means is that on the bank one side of the engine, which is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder, there's an oxygen sensor, mainly this upstream sensor one oxygen sensor down on the exhaust. And it's reading that there's an issue going on in the way that the fuel's being burnt. And this upstream oxygen sensor is reading the exhaust to see if the engine's running rich or if it's running lean. If so if there's too much gas going into the bank one, then this is going to be reading that it's rich. If there's too much air going into that side of the engine, this is going to be reading that it's lean. And there's a range that the air and gas should be burning off at for the engine to be running good. And basically it's outside of this range. And this sensor is picking this up and reporting it back to the onboard computer. And this can be kind of a problematic code since it can be caused by so many different things. But I'm going to break down the things to go and check so you can help narrow down what it is. And so what are some possible causes? Well, this upstream bank one sensor one oxygen sensor could have gone bad. There might be something wrong with it and it's just reporting bad data back to the onboard computer. So you could go locate the bank one sensor one upstream oxygen sensor on your particular Ford and you could run some tests on it to see if it's working correctly. I made some videos on how you go about testing these sensors. I'll put a link down below if you need it. Some people would go and replace it, but however you want to do it, first thing to do is go check out that bank one sensor one oxygen sensor and either test it or replace it. The next thing that could cause this problem is a fuel pressure problem. Although usually a fuel pressure problem is going to cause problems on both banks. So usually it's just not going to be one side of the engine that's having a problem. But you can get a fuel pressure gauge and check what the fuel pressure is up at the fuel rail. Check to see what your rated fuel pressure is supposed to be at and be sure it's at the right PSI. For example, if your particular Ford is supposed to be running at like 65 PSI and you're getting 50, then you know there's an issue with the fuel pressure. And this would be something like a bad fuel pump or a clogged fuel filter or something like that. So you can't use a fuel pressure gauge and check the fuel pressure at the fuel rail. There could also be an issue with the mass sensor. It could have got dirty or it might have failed or something like this. Keep in mind, newer Fords don't use a mass sensor. If you have a newer Ford, like 2017, 2018 and newer, many of those don't use a mass sensor anymore. They use manifold absolute pressure sensors and intake air temperature sensors to monitor how much air is going into the engine. So it might be a little bit different if you have a newer Ford. But basically what the mass sensor does is it just monitors all the air that's going into the engine and reports this to the onboard computer. And if this has an issue, then it could throw off the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And usually if the mass sensor is bad or dirty, then it's gonna throw off both sides of the engine, but strange things can happen. So the next thing to go and check is gonna be the mass sensor. Another thing that could cause this problem is gonna be that there's a vacuum leak somewhere. And this basically means that on top of the engine, there's something leaking, a hose has come loose or something like that. There's some different ways you could go about trying to test for a vacuum leak. One common method is use a smoke machine and you speed smoke into the engine and wherever the smoke comes out, you know where the leak's at but the next thing that could cause the problem is going to be a vacuum leak and the next thing is going to be is that one of those cylinders on bank one has a bad fuel injector and there's some different ways you go about trying to test for a bad fuel injector you could go along on that bank and remove the spark plugs one at a time and check to see what the color is and then match them to a color burn chart just to see if they're burning correctly for example if it's really black then it's running too rich but if it's really white then it's running too lean there's some spark plug burn charts you could google and match it up to and get an idea how it's working and if you find a cylinder on bank one as burning too rich or too lean or something like that then you could test the injector on that cylinder to be sure that it's working correctly and that there's no issues going on with it like i said there's many different ways to go about testing injectors there's some good youtube videos on that but the next thing that could cause this problem is going to be a bad fuel injector and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P1130 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.